Hello, this is Luke Johnson, and in this Revisto training session, we will be focusing on the Navisworks plugin. Once you install Revisto and open Navisworks, you will see a Revisto 4 ribbon. We're going to discuss how to export to Revisto and how the switchback to Navisworks functions. To begin with, let's export this Navisworks project to Revisto. Before doing so, we should create an export view. Let's go to the home ribbon and unhide all to ensure that all elements are visible. Go to the viewpoint list here and turn off any sectioning. And we could optionally override some colors here, for example, we could select the planting, go to the item tools and perhaps apply a transparency. So we have created a nice setting of the view and we're going to right click in the saved viewpoints area, save viewpoint, revisto, export. We're now going to right click on that viewpoint and go to edit and ensure that these two items are ticked hide required and override appearance. This means that we'll be able to control color and visibility of objects that we want to publish from Navisworks to Revisto. We should now save our Navisworks model, go to the Revisto 4 ribbon and click export to Revisto. On this occasion, we're going to create a new project, but it could be that a Revisto project exists already, in which case you would choose link to existing project and then select it. So let's create a new project. Give the project a name and choose OK. As you can see here, we must choose to select the 3D model. And then we can choose our Revisto export view from the list. Notice that it was a little difficult to understand which view is the right one. This is because it's reading viewpoints that have come from Revit. Let's fix that. I'm just going to briefly cancel, double click on this view name, and just make it a bit more specific but this is our Revisto export view from Navisworks. Let's again click export to Revisto and it already remembers that we've created a new project and we can choose Revisto export Navisworks from this list. If we tick export viewpoints, then the viewpoints from the save viewpoint list will appear as viewpoints in Revisto. If we choose levels, it will grab the levels here from the Navisworks model and place them as levels in the Revisto map view. Update materials will ensure that we get the right colors. And if we tick render appearance, it will grab the textures and materials that are applied to these objects. If we unselect it, then we'll get the shaded view. I'm going to untick it because typically for coordination from Navisworks, we're not interested in materials or in the render appearance. We could tick export point cloud. If we had some point clouds appended here to Navisworks that we wanted to publish to Revisto. And if we have some particularly strange models that we've had to rotate or flip axes on, we may need to use this algorithm. In most cases, we can leave it unselected. We're now ready to export. So let's click export. Once the model has finished exporting, it will appear here in Visto. As you can see, we have the shaded representation from Navisworks. If we want to publish this to the cloud immediately, we can press sync and upload. 
and then we can share our model to our team. Let's review what we have here in this model. If we click on the map view, we can see the levels that have come from Navisworks. If we zoom in, we can see the room names. Let's go back to Navisworks and review some more options here. Once we have exported our model to Revisto, we can still use Navisworks to raise issues in Revisto. Simply by setting our view to the area and then clicking the new issue button in the ribbon. This takes a snapshot from Navisworks and we can immediately start marking up in the Revisto issue tracker. We can also use this to switch back in the other direction. In Revisto now, perhaps there are some issues in this area, so I can click the new issue button. I can do my markups and click done. Now from the Navisworks side, if I want to view these issues, I should firstly click Issue Tracker to ensure that the session is in sync. And then in Revisto, I can simply double click on an issue. And as you can see there, it has brought the Navisworks view to the right location. This 3D switchback will also work for section boxes. So in Revisto this time, I'm going to select an object, create a section box and an issue and do some markup and click done. And as before, I'm going to double click the issue in Revisto and in Navisworks here, you can see it has sectioned around the element and also selected the element as we did in Revisto. This also works bi-directionally. So in Navisworks, we could select some objects, enable sectioning, sectioning, perhaps a section box, fit the section box around the objects. And using our Revisto 4 ribbon, new issue, you can see there, it's taken the snapshot directly from Navisworks with the section box applied. And in Revisto, we can of course view the markup view or click on 3D on the left, where it will take us to the 3D view in Revisto. So we have full bi-directional switchback in 3D with Navisworks. So we've now looked at how to export to Revisto create new issues from Navisworks and clicking the issue tracker to ensure that this session is linked to the Revisto session. We can also set up an export scheduler. If I click on the export scheduler button, you can see here that it has remembered all of our settings from our export process. We can choose this option here to suppress any model errors that may pop up from Navisworks. We can choose to sync after export, choose a number of days for this export process to run automatically, set a time. And notice here in Navisworks, there is a license type option. Sometimes Navisworks is licensed through BIM 360 and sometimes it has a normal licensing method. You need to choose the appropriate option here depending on what version of Navisworks you have. When we click OK, the instructions have now been created in the Revisto Export Scheduler. If this machine is switched on and logged in, then the scheduler will open Navisworks, open this project, export and sync to cloud all automatically. Finally, we can use the link to Revisto button here to change which Revisto project this Navisworks model is linked to by clicking change link. 
generally, this won't be needed. In a following session, we will discuss sync clashes and intersect search sets. Thank you for listening to this Revisto training session where we focused on the Navisworks plugin.